Okay, I'm back out in the shop again, and I wanted to do a quick video today to show how to do a tool change and not lose your zero home position. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to cut a little program. I'm going to start out doing some bee carving first. I've got my zero set here. I've got a 60 degree quarter inch diameter V-bit in here, and it's going to do some carving in program one, and then when I load program two, it will actually part out the... Uh, the, the piece it'll cut it out so I'll show you how to do that tool change and I'll probably fast forward it through the um, through the run here because it's uh, you know a little lengthy program but you'll be able to see the the end result here so I'm gonna go ahead and get it started Okay, so I finished this pro the first program, which is using this uh, 60 degree quarter inch diameter V bit. So, and you'll also notice that when it finishes the program, it goes back to the center of the material. That's the same spot where I referenced the uh, all the zeros. I had x zero, y zero, z zero. Well, it's x zero, y zero, but now it's it's it obviously leaves the bit up a little bit so you're not hitting the material when it goes back but it's at the X and Y are at zero so now to change out this bit what I'm going to do is I'm going to page it up a little bit and I'm going to bring, bring it forward a little bit and I'm going to just loosen this up And then to part it out, I'm going to use this quarter inch up spiral bit that I've been using. So I'm going to put that back in there. Now that I've got that secure, now what I need to do is I need to zero this back out because you, you can tell that obviously this is sticking out a lot longer. So I've got to reset the Z. Uh, home position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the controller off. And I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to crank this thing down by hand. And I get that paper to grab. Okay, now I've got my Z set. So I could turn my controller back on. But before I raise that up, I need to set just the zero position. So I'm going to move the camera for just a second here and show you what I click on. Okay, what I want to click on, you'll notice that the X is still zero because I haven't changed its position. I did move it forward so the Y is a little bit different position and the Z I raised up to change that tool. But now that I've got the the, it dialed down manually touching the material what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit just this zero Z and you see it changed to zeros everything else stays the same now let me move the camera back to the material again okay 
now that I've got my digital readout over there, the computer is saying that the Z is at zero, and it is. The controller's on. Now I can raise up the Z, remove this paper, and now when I hit on the Mach 3 uh, screen, when I hit go to Z, it will now take all three axes back home, which is going to be back here to the center. The X will move straight back. The Y uh, will move back, and then the Z will come down. So watch what happens when I hit go to Z. Okay, that's exactly the same position I started with this small bit when I first started doing the engraving. So now I'm all ready to cut it out. I just have to load program 2. And you do want to make sure you do that. It's real easy to forget to run a first program. You stop and change your tool and you're so worried about getting your Z set that you forget to load the program and you get, get it all set up and you hit the button and the next thing you know you realize you've You've changed tools, but you're still running program one. So I want to come over here and load program two. And now that I've got that loaded, I'm going to jog the Z up just a little bit to get it off the material. Turn the router on, and we're going to cut this part out. Okay, so there we finished with our second program and we've cut this part out. I'm just going to take this to the bandsaw and cut this out real quick. Okay, so I hope everybody understands now how to change the tool and run two different programs. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, drop me an email or leave a comment or something. I'll try to answer them. But I think that video should maybe clear it up. Uh, anyway, thanks again for all my new subscribers. Uh, I've had a bunch more subscribers, and I really appreciate that. Uh, I hope y'all are having some uh, some good progress getting your CNC machines built. Uh, sent out a bunch of plans, so uh, somebody should be having a, having one built pretty soon. But uh, anyway, thanks again for all the new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. And we'll catch you next time.